Okay, that worked. And then you, then you have that uh, that you can use in the future. But enough about that. We are moving into our first game here of the set. Yet again, it's going to be Delta versus Nice. And we're starting the first game here on uh, Small Fortress Alliance. Yeah, and we see the Taros versus Val matchup. Is this common for Delta and Nice? Or, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I would say for sure. I mean, for Nice, Nice plays quite quite a few different legends, but I would definitely say, uh, I don't know why, whenever I see Nice on Val, it just feels familiar, but I would say the same about five different legends that he plays. Delta on Teros, though, I mean, that's definitely a staple, and uh, we, we might find out wow, why. And, and Delta is trying to make it 6-4 right now, uh, <laughs> taking that early lead, and this is a Teros stock, so it, it might be higher value. Uh, than the, those Val stocks. Um, they're going to take a while to drop. Nice with the edge guard opportunity here. Tried to catch a drift in with that recovery, but ultimately missed it. All right, getting that quick side light and air in, trying to get yet another follow up. But uh, Nice right now doing a pretty good job at spacing around the Delta's follow ups to see the issue really comes uh, with the approaches and the punishes. Right, and, and we, we saw some a D light out of disadvantage into that recovery. I, I feel like I've seen that mostly from sword users, uh, and I guess uh, Val is a sword gauntlet, so it's interesting to see the, the gauntlet use that as out of disadvantage as well. For sure, and uh, for this very first stock, it kind of felt like Delta was skill checking these just a little bit more, checking his spacing and his movement, uh, because it really did feel like Delta was just hitting him for free at some times. Uh, this stock is completely different, and Nice is definitely Ooh. retaliating. Delta is going to be able to pick up the stock first, uh, but Nice is starting to punish some of this, some of these careless attacks. You see, just like that, GC D light, and that's going to lead to your eventual knockout potentially. Yes, it will. Even up Nice with amazing tracking on the right side of the stage there uh but now yeah let's see who can close it out oh, an able to throw him down with that sair able to pick up the side light on top of the stage as well now gets another string and just like that i mean that was oh a dominating God. first stock from from delta but it feels like nice is just getting stronger and stronger for every single stock yeah this is the knee nice show um uh-oh off the stage and knees covering a lot of space with that signature there uh, Almost ledge trapping Delta. Sayre comes out. I ha I saw a vision where he got that sword Sayre just a little bit earlier and he would have bounced into the weapon throw, but we're not getting any clips. We're going to get a clean knockout right, like a professional with a sword uh, end light off the left side. Uh, nice is going to take that game back. And what I would like to say, that's that's a little bit of a comeback. I mean, we're going to oh, yeah. be able to see the stocks here on the replays. That's three stocks red against two stocks orange. Uh huh, and, and I, I was loving the way Nice was playing towards the end there. Just really strong coverage. They're baiting the dodge. I mean, uh, Delta was running out of resources there, so Nice just had to cover a few. Uh, but then, oh, that last stock was the Gauntlet show, the Nice show. And then, right when Sword came, um, it was actually perfect at that red percent. Uh, gonna be really hard to get back on the stage uh, with the the amount of space that that Sword and Light and uh, D Light takes up. And yeah, we saw him like close it out. Now, I mean, Delta is not to be underestimated. And I have to say, uh, throughout that game, I did not exactly feel like we we, we were seeing uh we were seeing standard delta gameplay because when i imagine standard delta gameplay i imagine someone constantly going for seven attacks in a row on hammer now either you know this is game one you're kind of trying to feel feel each other out a little bit maybe delta is trying to change his play style um or perhaps uh, we, we could we could be seeing some more of that 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 uh, style of gameplay coming in coming in clutch for for delta here in just a moment yeah, um, I'm, I'm interested to see what Delta does to adapt here. Uh, I mean, I, I really wonder when they played, uh, like, that 5-4 versus Nice, what years it took place over. Like, is this over a span of, you know, six years, five years? And, like, what what is the most recent uh, battle that they I had? think... I think we might be able to see that their most recent battle uh, was actually very recent. It was in Trial of Skuld, which was in um, March this year, 8th of March okay. this year. Uh, which uh, is definitely uh, definitely not that long ago. Yeah. And their first matchup was in 2022. Wow, okay. Yeah, but pretty pretty recent then. And, and who was taking the uh, the Trial of Skuld? Who ended up taking it? 
Uh, Trilops go to Delta. So Delta. most recently to Delta. They also faced. They uh, that was three one or two Delta, and also in two uh, community tournaments back to back, uh, Delta also three Odinis. Oh my God! Yeah. So so Delta so, definitely um, just been cooking these as of late. But just as I say that. <laughs> These uh, is looking to make this a 2-0 lead. Very solid edge guard on the right side. Yeah, Delta is cooking these as of late, but uh, recent views are starting to uh, starting to contest that statement. <laughs> as these is playing phenomenally so far. Oh. Delta with a nice hammer recovery, and there you go. Super nice weapon throw. Now, I wonder if that was diagonal, if he threw it straight down, but with a little bit of momentum off to the right side. I couldn't quite see. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get the replay to verify, but that was such good coverage, just knowing that didn't have any resources left. The dodge was burned, and the, the convoy right into that throw. Okay. If it's good. If it's gonna nair and the end light continuously just denying uh, not only stage presence but the ability to touch the stage whatsoever. That's almost 10 seconds in a row. Nice has not been able to touch the stage, and that end light <laughs> just made it even longer. Oh my god! Finally, he has some ground on his, under his feet, and I mean, he's on gauntlet as well. He has ground under his feet, and he has the ledge behind him. That's definitely not a spot you want to be in if you're Delta. Oh, and that cross up takes stare. it back. So good from Delta. Um, I, I feel like Nies has been doing really well when uh, he has a little bit of advantage on Delta. Just super strong juggles. Yeah. We're seeing just the classic gauntlet stuff coming out. But uh, yeah, maybe Delta is, is knowing that, trying to slow down the pace of the game, play more neutral, just win with those giant axe buttons. Oh. See, this this is this is why I wanted to see Delta push his advantage just a little bit harder because Mies, what he's really good at and what he's been very good at in this game, I feel like is small victories. He's mm -hmm. taking small wins all of the time that just add up. Whereas Delta, uh, in a lot of cases, uh, at least what I would consider to be Delta oh. Prime gameplay, he's getting in there and he is getting not not a small victory, but he's just ripping apart half a stock at a time. Yeah, no, you mentioned earlier about the, the Delta buttons heavy play style. Uh, he, there we saw a little bit of a comeback from Delta as these took an early lead and then Delta was able to swing it back. And then these these last two stocks, I feel like Delta really got in their own. Um, but yeah, so some, some classic D-Light Sayer stuff coming out from the hammer, coming out from Delta. Um, as we get back into game number three, 1-1. One, one. One one. It is a best out of five format, of course, and we are in the winner side, so anything can still happen. Uh, he's taking the first game so far. Delta. Delta's looking. Delta's looking like he's on a roll. I mean, going immediately into this into this third game, uh, I, I'm, I'm sensing that Delta Delta has a heightened uh, heightened sense of. Um, confidence here almost oh my god yeah you're you're right nope that edge guard went crazy the weapon toss into the down air uh just covering so many options and and i feel like the delta hammer in general has been doing a lot more work than the delta hat yeah, the, the Delta Hammer has been phenomenal so far. Nice, on the other hand, we mentioned earlier that he's he's been quite good at taking these smaller victories. Um, especially, I feel like whenever he is trying to edge guard Delta as well, both of these players are quite strong on the ledge, mm -hmm. uh, which is why it's almost kind of surprising why we aren't seeing more gameplay. <laughs> yeah, D-Light out of its advantage again is going to get the uh, stock for Nice. Uh, let's see if Delta, yep, manages to get a weapon there. It's still good juggling these. Oh, wow! The ground pound. What a call out option from <laughs> Delta. Just, 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 just in case, just in case you might connect it. But these, not falling for the bait, not landing on top of Delta. Okay. Delta back on the hammer. Just trying to find that that D light. Uh, knee spacing around the side light there. See, I'm not gonna try and give myself. I'm not trying to do like self validation, but do you see what I mean with the small victories? Delta has not been able to pop off, and the knees will just slowly but surely creep up mm -hmm. and eventually take the lead unless Delta gets something soon. Sarah comes in, and he's gonna have to try and get this edge guard, but Knees is able to jump up high. Up on the drift there from Knees. It was so tricky to know where he's gonna land for sure. Like, 
just the wiggling of the I'm, I'm not sure if these is on keyboard or controller, but the, the wiggling of the keys or the stick just very very tricky. <laughs> uh, Delta tried to cover on the on on the input device. On the input device, correct. Uh, Delta trying to cover one drift and these doing the other at the last second. So, um, but Delta kind of blowing this lead open. We have a classic oh, yeah. arrow stock where he's living forever, and also suddenly you're in dark orange percentage. Now Nice, it's uh, it's make it or break it at this point. He gets Delta oh. off stage momentarily with a Sarah. He gets Covering the ball the up as well. Nair took it. Okay, this could be it. Whoa. Oh no, there, that's going to be the stock. Nice with basically just barely a clean stock to finish things off. He's gonna take the game. That was just robbed Delta of that victory. Amazing awareness on the right side towards uh, uh by Nice towards the end there. Just like. Knowing that Delta had burned his dodge, waited for the dodge, and just went crazy with the gauntlet strength. And that—that that is how you play gauntlets, folks. That is how you capitalize off your opponent being off stage, not having resources. Oh, I wanted to see the whole stack. That was that was very good. But uh, yeah, shout out to the. Okay, we got the. We have the technology. <laughs> I believe that was the read we on have... dodge, and then covering that jump there, out of resources. Down airs him before he's able to refresh on the, the wall on the right side. Super strong from Nis. Gonna take it 2-1. Uh, is Nis gonna break the streak of Delta victories? I mean, that game seemed all Delta until the very end. And now, uh, now this game is all Nis. Hasn't got touched yet. Yeah, I mean, uh, Nis, uh, we mentioned um, in the very, very first game that we had in this set that Nis seemed to get better for every single stock. And uh, it looks like that trend is continuing uh, even in the grand scheme of things in the macro, which mm -hmm. is between the games. Nis is getting better and better. Oh, oh, what a ground pound. Was that dodge into ground pound? Crazy. I honestly, I did not exactly see it. The, the reason I thought that ground punt was really, really cool was just by how close he hit it. Like that was frame one or frame two of him having like active frames. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my. Waiting for the end light there, but knees with a pretty sizable lead. I, I think D light there might uh, get the knockout now. Oh. Dare isn't getting it just yet. Second one will though. Delta. Keeping things fairly even here. He has the weapon advantage. Mm -hmm. He gets a combo for it as well, but he can't deny that weapon pick up. Nice picks up the sword, and we're going into a very even game here. I like Delta staying on the hammer too. This has been his comfort pick versus Nice. Um, and the percent is almost evened up. I, I think actually Delta might have an advantage. Okay. Jeff really has an advantage now. I, mean, I saw Delta miss one read, and he was like, I will right, we'll keep it simple. Three stomp stairs in a row. I mean, that also works, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, trying to get the side light into recovery there. Um, classic got the stuff down here, almost getting the knockout. All right. I feel like we've said that a lot of times this set <laughs> Delta using a lot of really opting to go for the down there whenever whenever the whenever the enemy is low potentially looking for the nair juggle there you see it that's the strength of nair it's a bit of like a zone switch up right because delight there is so common from uh hammer users uh, to all of a sudden just have that like full hop range being covered by by down air which like a lot of characters would want to occupy to avoid the delight it's, it's yeah. super interesting mix up from Delta. It's like if you're trying to avoid hammer delight, you will be in the zone where a hammer dare is going to hit, or you're just like still not spacing very well. Because why would you be like three jumps above your enemy at all times? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right. So Delta trying to buy from position. These side light into nair, getting reversal there. Oh my god, this is anybody's game. Delta not dodging at all, just fast falling out of the side light. Uh oh. Okay. This is some intense neutral right now, and that's what happens when you get intense neutral. You oh. start to see some funky options oh, coming out. The Delta gets the chase dodge. Grandpa not going to connect either. I think it might have been too far off to the left. He wouldn't have hit oh. even if he held it down. Delta picks up the axe. He's able to get a combo started, and that's both of the players now sued in a knockout range. I mean, Del <laughs> with the right attack, it definitely will be. D-Light recovery, second one has to be the... Uh, oh, 
Delta not with the weapon, trying to toss with the axe. Knees denying that weapon right there, but Delta manages to get it. Looking for DI. Oh, oh no, Taro's still living. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, but the storm is going to be enough! Nice was so close on so many given given uh, times, but Delta, I mean, he was he was looking he was looking super super slippery. Oh yeah, for sure, and uh, that was just very well played by um, Delta towards the end there, just staying clutch, knowing that I mean, truly, I these got a few recoveries that I thought were gonna knock out, for sure. I thought it was over. And then, oh my god, dodging into the end light, the very last second getting that stomp out. That's, that is clutch. And we're going to a game five. First set of the day, game five. Game five, baby. And I, I have to say again, I love how no matter what skill range you get to, at a certain point, if you're in neutral, at a certain point of both of the players not throwing out an attack, something really weird is going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Even <laughs> among the best players. I mean, at the end there, we saw like three hits exchanged in 40 seconds, and it's not like they were pa passive. They were on top of each other. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, they, they were, oh, let, let's look at the stats here. Delta's hammer pop it off. Uh, knees with a bit more balance there. Um, Very balanced, yeah. And yeah, look at how long Delta was holding onto those stocks. That's, uh, that's actually crazy. Both that second stock and that last stock. Um, as we get into game number five, they love the stage, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say too. And uh, also, uh, game fives are usually the nail biters. And uh, c considering what we just got in game four, I'm not sure if I'm ready for something like that. <laughs> yeah, these edge guard. This okay, is huge... again. Oh, covering one drift, Delta is hugging a little more than he's expected. Delta, <laughs> it feels like Delta's barely getting out of these these edge guards. I'm so scared whenever uh, these gets Delta off the stage. But Delta trying to get the hammer into the oh my god, a little custom swag there. Yeah, there you go. That's the delta that's the delta hammer for you right there. We're getting really we're getting really, really spoiled here already in the in the fifth game. We're seeing oh. the Nice gauntlet gameplay that we know and love, and we're seeing the Delta Hammer gameplay that we know and love. These guys, they're bringing out all of their tricks and all of their skills for this very last game, uh, which will which will be the deciding one. Oh my god, Delta trying to go for it all there, but will Nice get the reversal? Oh, oh my god, Delta finally managing to get back. Okay. Yo! No. Oh. That down air. Guess the stock as well. Yeah, came out very, very quickly. Um. Yeah, I, I would say... Delta with a fast fall. Um, for that offstage interaction, Delta with a fast fall as a switch up uh, for his movement is crazy. Uh... Yeah, I, I feel like we've said this was a lead for his oh, okay. before, but like... <laughs> Delta always just gets a few hits and closes it quickly. Um, oh, trying to delight the attempt to get back on stage. He's giving like that nair ladder, like that nair ladder you mean? <laughs> you just got trying to go for three hammer nairs in a row, hitting two of them successfully. Oh. No switch up, no movement between them, just three raw nairs. Nees is able to pick up that second stock off of Delta though, as he goes to what could potentially be his winner side stock here. All right, Delta. Delta trying to bring this back, but Nees, I mean, with a pretty sizable lead, I feel like the signature was faded out there, and Nees is already got Delta in the orange, looking on red right now. Oh my God. This is huge. The snipe coming out. Oh, oh what, what, what? No way. Oh, what is oh. happening? Delta has no options and that's it. Oh, Two stocks remaining. Nice is going to take the set. What was that last couple of interactions? Uh, uh, we might need that yeah. entire stock in slow motion. Just play that entire stock back, please. We, we got to see that. <laughs> um, uh, Delta trying to get the fair Dude. back. <laughs> Nise, and, and, that was insane. I, I can't believe Nice went for it all and it worked out.